Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can save time in your design process by using two features in Figma called Smart Selection and Tidy Up. Let's get started. Okay, so right here in Figma we have a simple uh, interface for the iPhone X and we're going to build this out to make it a movie browsing experience. Uh, first off, I want to show you uh, the grid layout that I currently have. So I'm going to go ahead and make that visible for you. And any options, we have 7 count for the columns and 26 pixels for the gutter. We're going to leave everything on and start building this out so we can stay in alignment and consistent. Okay, so to build this out, what we're going to do is grab the rectangle tool and kind of draw out a shape that will be... Uh, 261 pixels and that should match the two uh, side columns here we're going to drag the height to be about 126 pixels and what we're going to do is use this shape as kind of a thumbnail we can go ahead into the panel on the right and add a little bit of roundness to this and we'll set the corner radius to uh, three pixels we'll also add a drop shadow effect by clicking the plus sign here and the default will be the drop shadow and we're going to click on the sun icon which will give us the options. We can set the blur to 8, the Y to 9, and the opacity to 16. Next we can add an overlay to this shape by grabbing the rectangle tool again and dragging out a smaller, uh, slimmer rectangle to put at the bottom. We can also add a corner radius to this, but we'll only add it to the bottom two corners so that it matches the shape beneath it. We can go ahead and click on the fill button here and change that to a solid black. Next up, we can use the text tool to begin typing out the title for this movie thumbnail. For this type, I'm using Roboto Bold with a font size of 12, and I'm gonna make sure this is center aligned. I'm also gonna change the color to white so that it can be seen in a dark background. Next, I'll copy over this text field and change the font to regular and the size to 10 points. For the movie, we'll say that this movie has three showings and 2.4 miles. We can use a star icon for the ratings of the movie. So I'll grab this star from the top, change its color, and copy it over a few times to give it a 5 star rating. After that, we can place in the movie thumbnail by clicking on the gray rectangle shape going to the color option and clicking the top left option and there will be an option to place an image inside of this shape. To make sure this image fits correctly and isn't stretched at all, I'll change the option from fill to fit and then back to fill again. Now that the image has been placed, we can adjust the black rectangle adding a 33% opacity for the overlay. Now I'm just going to copy this image over a few times so that we have some area to scroll through different image movie titles. After doing this, I'll also change each movie image and titles to match.
Now that the thumbnails are complete, we can add one last bit of detail to this page by copying down the section for the most popular movies down and making a new section for other movies nearby. We can get rid of the star icon and exchange it for the location icon that is already stored inside of the components tab in the bottom left corner. I'm going to select all elements within this location section and group them all together so that it can all move together when using the smart selection feature. Now to show you how smart selection works, I'll first need to have everything here selected including the group movie thumbnails and the nearby location section. After selecting all of these elements, you'll notice that a blue icon will appear on the bottom right of the selection, which lets us know that there are some spatial differences or inconsistent alignment amongst the selected items. And by clicking on this icon, Figma will use the feature called Tidy Up to automatically even out any spatial differences as well as center align everything into one or more columns. Next, you'll notice these weird pink circles are now showing on each group that you have selected as well as pink lines or handles between them. What this means is that similar to Adobe XD, you can click and drag the pink handle to quickly change the spacing between all elements. And by clicking on an open pink circle, you will have that group selected and you can then move its position to another spot within this smart selection. Not only does this work for the movie thumbnails, but this section break as well, and we can very easily reposition objects. This can be very useful for reorganizing content without having to go back and change spacing or alignment. Well, that's all for today's video, and I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about Figma Smart Selection and Tidy Up. And if you did, please give this video a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.